Welcome to the Chronicle of 2022, or at least the highlights of my life 2022. It's divided in two parts. The first part I will rush through fairly quickly and that's because I didn't film anything more or less the first half of the year since I haven't established this YouTube channel, The Life of Mr. Borgman. So I didn't bring the camera so much, but I have tried to find materials on my cellular phone and so on. The second part that will be out in a couple of weeks will have a lot more of uh, videos of traveling and so on since I then had established this channel. So welcome! January started off like a slow month. There was coming a lot of snow in the cabin for being in the southern part of Sweden. And when it comes snow, it's also time to feed all the animals like birds, squirrels and so on. Other things that happens when it's pretty slow in my life, like no traveling and so on, is that I'm starting up new projects, projects doing renovation and so on. And this wasn't any exceptions. I started to build a three-wheel bicycle that will look like a police car. So I have to order a blue light siren for that project. Even though it was a slow time, we still started up a new office at GS Energy, the heat pump company I'm the CEO of. And this time it was in Jönköping. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is the new Life of Mr. Boyman channel and I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. In February it was started during the lecturing season. A season that hasn't existed in two years due to the pandemic. But now it was time visiting e-commerce park, talking about Google Analytics and doing some other lecturing was the result of this year. And it's great to be on the stage again. Another home renovation project I did in February was actually converting an old coffee mill to a pepper mill instead. Which is great because it's so easy to mill and get freshly new pepper. If January and February was a slow month, March was what really kicked off. The rest of the year became pretty crazy. It started with a lot of business traveling, we have seven different offices I have to visit, the suppliers and so on. Whenever I have business travels, especially when it's on Friday, I try to bring my wife with me as well and we try to make it a weekend. This time we took a business trip and a prolonged weekend in Växjö, eating some good burgers, finding a bar, which is fantastic because I can play one of my old favorite games, 1943. Maybe not that funny for my wife to join, but you could drink beer at the same time. March is also a month where the spring starts to come in uh, southern part of Sweden. And this means bringing out my mountain bike, one of my interests, and uh, starting doing some bicycling. Unfortunately this year it has been less bicycling that I have wanted. I, I actually don't have had the time for it. But still, it became some bicycling rounds this year. I will try to make 2023 a better bicycling year. <laughs> Another thing that meant was that I can move my YouTube recording to outside my other channel, the channel where you can see my e-commerce uh, episodes. April is also the month where my wife has her birthday and this time I took her to the Arild winery for a weekend there. It meant a lot of hiking in the mountains and on the cliffs as well as trying some wine, guided tour at the winery and spending the night at the winery.
month where the spring set off and we're beginning to walk towards the summer. This could be one of the best times at the cabin. The trees are starting to uh, grow, it's getting greener, the windflowers is uh, white and shining, and there's a lot of animal life. <laughs> was really funny since the squirrels had got the small kids. The small squirrels are really crazy, climbing in the trees, they actually try to climb on me as well. I will not show that movie here, but it exists. It was really fun to look at them, see them discover new trees, climb around and actually just play around. <laughs> April was actually also a very hectic month for me at work, since we at GS Energy secured an investment that makes it possible for us to continue to grow to more cities, hire more employees and help more people with As you can see in these videos, a lot of my time is spent at the cabin. And that's because I love being there. In May, the summer start coming, but also we got some new visitors and friends at our cabin. These small guys, oh actually they're not so small. They were pretty aggressive when I raised my camera, but I was so curious to see how does baby pigeons look like. And to be honest, probably a face that only a mother can love. At the end of May, we also celebrated my birthday. My birthday is the 1st of June, but since I was on a business trip that day, we celebrated it at the end of May instead with a picnic, a hike, getting to know these ducks, and having a fantastic day that ended with a great burger. I also had time to finish the police bicycle. The bicycle that is for my wife's sister's small kid, Abbe. In the beginning of June, there was actually a Swedish Tour and Car Championship, a bit from where we live. So we bought a bed and looked at some airplanes, motorcycle shows, of course cars that was running through the tracks, doing some drifting and so on. The summer has begun, that means a lot of trips for me and my wife as well. So we spend a lot of time on the roads, traveling to different places. One day I actually saw an ad in the newspaper that uh, an artist, Nisse Hellberg, was about to play at Liseberg. So we jumped in the car, drove to Gothenburg, spent a weekend there and uh, listening to him. The summer also means that you have a lot of projects you have to do at the cabin. One of those projects this year was fixing the paint on the roof, which meant a lot of climbing. But also some smaller projects, fixing some uh, hangers. Of course, we also grow a lot of vegetables. Something bad, something good. At the end of June, it's time for the Swedish holiday Midsummer Eve. 
Midsummer Eve is a holiday where you normally spend um, out in the countryside, eating some herring and dancing around a man-made tree uh, that's called Midsummer Storm. But this time we actually took some friends with us, decided let's go to Copenhagen instead and party and uh, just relaxing for a couple of days. And that is actually what we will end this uh, first part of the chronicle. As you see, it's not that much that is recorded. The second part will be longer and that's mainly because I've filmed a a lot more materials than in the first half. Of course it happens a lot more this uh, first half of the year, but since I haven't recorded it, it's not in this chronicle. Stay tuned and watch the next episode that will be available soon.